Hello artists, today we are going to be creating a panda bear pinch pot. In front of you, you'll see these materials. Before we get our hands dirty, we're going to use a Sharpie today. And on the outer rim of your plate, I want you to write your name and your class right next to it. Snap that cap, give it a nap. You have a ball of clay about the size of a baseball. You're gonna take that and break it directly in half. Leave half of it on your wax paper. The other half, we're going to use our hands and make it into a ball. Now, it won't be a perfect ball, but just try to get it as close as you can. Every once in a while, what you do is you take your fingers and pinch out the bumps, and then you take your palms and you roll again. Pinch out the bumps, roll again. Pinch out the bumps, roll again. I would say that that's pretty good. Now we're gonna put this in the center of our plate and using our thumb, it's really easy. A pinch pot um, is made when you just kind of pinch the sides. Well, the first thing we have to do is make sides. So you take your thumb and you push, but don't push all the way through the clay. I still have a good gap in there. You don't want your clay to get too thin in the bottom or it will break. Now what we're simply going to do is take our fingers, this is why it's called a pinch pot, and carefully and slowly pinch the edges. And what's starting to happen as I work is it's creating a pot. I'm using my thumb to make the inside part and I'm using my fingers out here to make the outside parts. Now you don't want your clay walls to get too thin um, because when they dry they will be very brittle and they will crack. So when you're working today, don't pinch hard. We're being very gentle with our pinch pots. and they're gonna be pretty small. So a little jewelry container or a coin jar is a good idea for our pinch pots. And that's about as big as it gets. Let me compare it in my hand for you. It's about the size of your palm is about how large it's gonna be. At this point, you're gonna put it in the center of your plate Use your thumb one more time to be very gentle. And what I'm trying to do is just push around the bottom parts um, to give it a nice flat bottom so it will sit nicely on a table. Now you have your other half that was on the wax paper. This time you wanna divide it into three parts. So I'm just gonna pinch it apart, pinch it apart again, and then I'm gonna look at the three pieces and see if they're about equal. They don't have to be perfect by any means, but what you don't want is like this one to be that big and that one to be that small. So try to divide them into three equal parts, something more like that. One of the parts is going to be for the head, so just put the other two back on the wax paper. We're gonna to try to work on top of that wax paper today just to keep our tables as clean as possible. And all I did was make a little ball for his head. Panda bears have little muzzles, so I'm taking another section from another ball. They have little muzzles that pop out, so again, using our hands, pinching the ball, rolling the ball. Now I have a smaller ball, looks about like that for the head. In order to get two pieces of clay to stick together, we have to do three things that start with the letter S, score, slip, and seal. Scoring is just making rough marks in your clay. So where the muzzle's gonna go, I'm gonna rough up the head, and I'm gonna rough up the muzzle, just on one spot. Slip is a material made with clay and water, but for our project, since it's so small, water's good enough. You're not using the sponge yet, you're just using your finger, and you don't want a lot of water. You're gonna just dip and get it a little bit wet. Those two parts go together just like so. So we scored it with our fork, we slipped it with our water, and the last S is seal. Right now, the clay will stick together because it's wet, but when it's dry, it will fall right apart. So to get those to join together, we do something called sealing. And all you do is um, try to smooth the clay into each other. Now it's gonna look kind of rough and bumpy at first, and that's okay, it's supposed to. After you seal it though, you can use your fingers and smooth it out. Don't be tempted to put water on your fingers. Um, clay, if it gets too wet, it gets too slimy. You can see that with just the amount of moisture I have in my hands that I'm able to smooth that out. 
So that's kind of what his little muzzle looks like. We're gonna take the popsicle stick and draw a triangle for a nose. Easy sneezy, three little lines for a nose. We're gonna use that same popsicle stick and draw a line down and a line over for his mouth. We're gonna take that same popsicle stick and push into the clay there, push into the clay there. Panda bears usually have like a little black spot where their eyes are. So by pushing that in, we'll know where we need to paint black later. And the last thing I'm gonna do is very carefully use one tong of the fork, poke a little eye. One tong of the fork, poke a little eye. And there's our little panda face. He's missing his ears. So from that same little section that we already pulled from, don't go too small. Um, I would say it's about the size of my thumbnail. I'm gonna roll another ball. Remember, we're adding clay together. We have to score. Think about where it's going, score. Slip. And seal. And just a little bit of smoothing with your fingers. There's his little ear, we gotta add the other one. Same size, about the same as your thumb. If your fingers do get too wet during this project, just keep a dry paper towel next to you um, and that'll keep the clay from getting too slimy. Kind of compare, make sure they're the same size. very gentle with our clay. We don't want to smash the details that we made on the face. I'm going to use just a little bit of water on my finger and smooth around the ears. Just a little. And again, keep that paper towel next to you. Okay, our panda bear is going to look like he's um, laying on his back with his arms and hands up. So the head Try to find the thickest spot, like that's kind of thin right there, that's a little bit thick, just to help support the head. But what we're gonna do is same thing. We're gonna score first. We're gonna slip. This time it's a little trickier. Okay. This time when we seal, we need to put a pinch of clay underneath kind of like where that ear and jaw go together and we're going to do the same thing a pinch roll it into like a little uh coil or a little snake itty bitty right there kind of under the jaw and ear area you are going to have to very carefully pick up your clay support your head with your hand and we have to seal that little snake that we made to the cup and also to the head. And it'll look messy. Clay is always ugly at first. Then we take time to smooth at the end. So that a little snake we made is what's going to keep that head nice and supported. Make sure it's sealed so it looks like it was never two pieces. Now using just a little bit of water on your finger, you can smooth out those little parts, make it look nicer. There's this cute little head. Okay, get it put back on your plate. So I still have my section that I haven't touched yet and then I have this little piece left over from building the head. I'm gonna use this remaining to do his little tail, which will go kind of right down there. Again, being very gentle with our clay, we're gonna score, we're gonna slip, right across from the head, down towards the bottom of the pinch pot. 
and seal it all the way around. A little bit of water on your finger, smooth it out. <laughs> okay, back on the plate, just like that. Now I have my remaining clay. I need to divide it this time into four equal parts. So the best way to do that is to divide it into two equal parts, then to divide each of those into equal parts, like that. What we're essentially gonna make are two feet and two hands. So again, just balls of clay, guys, this is so easy. We're gonna score here for our two feet. Gently in your hand. Seal those on. Okay. When you're sealing, you're um, essentially just peeling the clay together. So it looks like it was always one piece of clay instead of two separate things. So see the cracks gone. That's what sealing does. Okay, using a little bit of water, smooth those out. He's so cute. Okay. Again, dry paper towel to help you. And now we're gonna finish off with our two little arms. Another ball of clay. Kind of right by the head. He is so cute. So again, if you look, looks like there's no crack there. That's what sealing does. A little bit of water, let's smooth it out. Try to get your finger underneath the feet. Add a little bit more water in those areas. Don't pull too hard though. You can already see that that's starting to crack. If that happens, then you have to reseal it again. So being very, very gentle with our clay. When we smooth, always try to support things. Like I'm holding my thumb right there while I smooth the inside. Next week, the clay will be hard and you won't have to worry about it moving so easily. But this week when you're building it, you gotta be super careful, nice and gentle. Get in there the best way you can. Don't forget to smooth the actual pinch pot. I don't even think we're gonna need the sponges. My fourth graders used those. I think we're gonna be just fine with our fingers. Don't forget to smooth, smooth, smooth. Okay, make sure when he goes on the plate, that he's flat, so kind of just take your thumb, rotate it around, make sure he has a nice flat spot on the bottom so he'll sit on a table. You shouldn't have any extra clay left over, but if you do, um, especially like on your little popsicle sticks, I will have a bag to collect that. I can use it for other projects. 
that is what your panda bear looks like before it has a chance to dry. And what's gonna really make him look like a panda is after we get out some black and white paint and paint him appropriately. Here's what we're gonna do for cleanup. Your project needs to go on the shelf or table where I tell you to put it. At the back sink, you are going to simply put your finger on the sponge and pour out all of the water into the sink. Then leave the sponge in the bowl and just set it over on the counter with no water in it. There will also be two containers at the sink, one for forks and one for popsicle sticks. You need to put those back at the sink as well. I will collect your wax paper after you are done putting all of your things back at the sink before you can wash your hands you need to wash your table i'll leave you a rag don't leave it wadded up open it up clean your whole table off clay gets really chalky so after you go over it once flip over the rag go over it a second time the very last thing you can do is go back to the sink and now you may wash your hands